Hey guys, how's it going? This is the live draw, live stream of Inktober Day 2. I'm drawing Marvel's first Muslim superhero. Her name is Kamala Khan, and we're going to get this thing started. Now, I'm going to do a little housekeeping, so here we go. First things first, I wanted to set up some sort of little contest for this, so I'm going to make it real simple. At the end of the month, I will be doing a sketchbook that will have these plus a lot of other pieces of artwork that I've done in them. It's going to be really, I'm hoping to do a big sketchbook for this one. That'd be cool. And so it's basically going to be a lot of ink stuff that you've seen me do over the past with some other things you haven't seen. And so the way this contest is going to work is real simple. So at the end of each week, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick uh, the top comments of the week. And at the end of the month, uh, the first, probably the first week after the uh, first week in November, what I'll do is I'll do a random generator and I will pick somebody and that person will win a copy of that sketchbook that I will personally autograph and put a sketch in of anybody they want me to put it in. You know, let's, you know, ground rules are simple. You know, of course I, you know, I can't draw something in your sketchbook that my grandmama wouldn't approve of. Uh, there's a long story there. I'll share that story with you guys sometime. Anyway, uh, so that's basically the rules on that. So that said, here's what I need from you. It's real simple. Comment down below. Uh, comment things you like about the artwork that you're seeing. Comment about the uh, other drawings you've seen maybe in the videos they've gone through, different things like that. I want to hear from you. And then each week at the end of the week, the coolest comment that I like the most will be the one that I put into the random generator at the end of each week and i'll announce it on mondays when i do my videos on monday so you'll know who had the best comment of the week that week so anyway so i wanted to share this with you this is miss kamala khan miss kamala khan is marvel's first uh, muslim superhero they created her back in 2014 and so she was a character that uh, she was a normal human being she was a muslim student and everything and then uh, she found out she was an inhuman she got exposed to the Tyrion mist. Uh, if y'all watch the Inhumans TV series, first of all, y'all are stronger people than I am because I couldn't get through that series. I tried <laughs> to watch it a couple different ways and it's just not, you know, it just wasn't going well for me. <laughs> but that said, you know, what they, had, they, you know, they did the whole series and, you know, about the Black Bolt and those guys. Well, apparently in the comics they did this thing where the Tyrion mist started spreading around other people. It was called Inhumanity. And so the whole thing happened there was that there were people that would um, get exposed to the Tyrion mist. And when they got exposed to the Tyrion mist, then they would become uh, Inhumans. And so they would get powers and different things like that. One of the people that got powers was, of course, uh, Kamala Khan. And so she was a big fan of Miss Marvel who some of y'all have seen the trailer for her movie that comes out in May, in March. And so this is a character, that's Carol Danvers. And so when uh, she became a fan of Carol Danvers, and especially when she first started pursuing this superhero thing, she, her powers are that she can stretch herself. She's what they refer to in the comics as a polymorph, which means she can stretch her body into different dimensions. Think like Plastic Man, think like Mr. Fantastic, except a teenager with these powers. And so basically, uh, Carol, seeing the potential good and seeing the fact she was such a fan of hers in the Avengers, she was the only event, main Avengers team for a short time. And then uh, they formed a team called the Champions. And she's kind of a leader of that team as a result of a lot of stuff. And so, you know, she's got, you know, our version of Miles Morales, the Miles Morales Spider-Man, along with our Armadale's Cho and all other heroes and stuff like that. So she is, uh, for all intents and purposes, the leader of that team. And so, you know, she comes in and not only is she you know, a polymorph, she can stretch her body and make her body into different dimensions. She can, uh, she's really intelligent. Like they really, like I've seen her in the Champions comic books. I ended up picking up the first trade paperback of that. And she's really, and she's really smart. Like you know, she kind of reminds me of Peter Parker. You know, if you know anything about Peter Parker back in the day when he first came out, how, you know, he his whole thing was kind of science. You know, he kind of did the whole science thing. And she's very much like that in a lot of ways in a lot of the books she's in. You know, that's one of the cool things about her as a character. 
they try to keep her very similar in the different version in the different books that she's in. So like you don't see her not do something in one thing that she does another. So no matter who writes her, they tend to kind of get that point across that she's definitely smarter than most people. And so she holds her own in that regard. And she's teamed up with a lot of the guys and stuff like that. She has a real good friend named Squirrel Girl, uh, who one time beat up Dr. Doom. Not so true a story. So if you think about anything about Dr. Doom and the fact that Squirrel Girl, her buddy, took out Dr. Doom, one of the baddest villains in the Marvel Universe. There you go. So anyway, another thing about her that's really cool, besides just her uh, faith and stuff, is they actually talk a lot about her family and stuff like that. Like she has a mother who is very, very conservatively Muslim to the point where her mother in one of the comics talked about the fact she said she was scared that if she touched the boy, she'd get pregnant. And, uh, you know, without being too vulgar or anything like that, you know, that's not the way that normally works. But, you know, they, they kind of talk a lot about the comics, about the Muslim faith and things like that. And they really work hard to show kind of the struggles that a Muslim teenager would have. And then also, I believe the part of the creators is a Muslim American. And so that's the way they kind of go through and borrow her experiences from that. And so that's one of the reasons why Kamala is very, uh, when she's written, she's very, um, you know, they're very careful to make sure to portray the faith in a proper way. So that's one of the things they do really well with the character. And so I wanted to represent kind of that strength she has, but I really, you know, kind of gone really crazy with it and done a, you know, a crazy picture where it would have been like her stretching or something like that. But you know, if you get a chance to check the character out, you'll get to see some of that in her character. Like sometimes she'll, she'll get really tall and lanky. And then other times, you know, she'll have her leg stretch and she'll be really tall or she'll punch somebody and her arms will get really big and long and, her um, fist will get really huge and stuff like that. She, it, it, she kind of reminds me of um, like Pop out of Sailor Man. Sometimes she can get in those dimensions because she's able to stretch her skin and different things like that. So I think that's pretty cool. So anyway, this is Miss Kamala Khan. Now the thing about the sketchbook I was talking about, guys, is that the sketchbook you're gonna get is gonna be not just the drawings you see. There will be some secret drawings that I will not show on the channel that you will only be able to see in that sketchbook. So just a heads up, I'm not just going to throw all these in a sketchbook and be like, okay, that's it, because there's going to be a lot more drawings in there than just the ones you see during the month of October. So I hope you guys got those comments ready. Uh, let me know what kind of stuff you want to see in future videos. Let me know, you know, if there's particular characters you want to see me draw during this. You know, I think that'd be epically awesome if you would let me know what kind of stuff you want to see me do in these future videos. And there you go. So the comment of the week, you put your comments in there and I may pick it. So I would love to hear from you guys. I'd love to see what kind of stuff you want me to get into with some of these future drawings. And you will end up winning a copy of the sketchbook. I don't know what I'm going to call it either. And that may be another thing you can do in the comments. You can give me name ideas. If you have an idea for the sketchbook name, I mean, it may just be, you know, the Pencil Ninja sketchbook. In October sketchbook, I'm not for sure. But anyway, guys, want your thoughts down below? Greatly appreciate it. And above all else, guys, be blessed to be a blessing to somebody. Now remember, tomorrow we're going to be doing Bumblebee. And no, it's not Bumblebee for the Transformers. It's a different Bumblebee. If uh, you want to do some investigation, you can look up DC Comics Bumblebee. And you get to see who she is. Anyway, so take care, guys. And above all else, be blessed to be a blessing to somebody. Till next drawing. I want to see those comments. I want to see who's going to win this week's uh, part in the drawing for the sketchbook at the end of the month. Take care, guys.